Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing? It is currently uh, 4.45 a.m. I am in, I believe, Kentucky right now. So we're getting pretty close. We have like two more stops and then uh, we will be in Springfield, Ohio, which is the town that we are replicating in Minecraft. So um, yeah, you know, Google Earth, again, just ain't working, man. We have to drive up here to get some stuff. I think that's, uh, it's gonna be interesting. It's definitely gonna be interesting. Um, yeah, we have four minutes. We're at this, we have a McD's over here, dog. We got a fat McDonald's. We might have to swing by there, in all honesty. We seriously might have to swing. Like I said in the previous episodes, these videos are going to be getting crazier and crazier as we continue to progress throughout the series. And boy was I not kidding, because lads, this is the craziest thing I've done out of the entire series. What I did was I drove a total of 20 hours all the way to Springfield, Ohio, where Bellevue is actually located, and um, you know, I, I drove here to actually get real photographs and video footage of what we are going to be replicating in today's video. It was low-key a treacherous drive at times, but we have to do it for the content. I made a promise to you guys that these videos are going to get juicier and juicier as we continue them. So that's exactly what we did. We drove 20 hours there and also 20 hours back. In fact, at the time of recording this intro, I am currently in Bellevue IRL. And I'm not going to lie, it's low-key a little strange, uh, you know, seeing these people's houses and, you know, establishments that I've actually constructed in this game and made videos on. It's 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 really strange. I don't really have words for it, but it's kind of weird. So I guess in today's video, we don't have to use Google Earth all that much because we have actual real life footage of these buildings. And we are building three big buildings today. I think they are apartment complexes. And I'm not going to lie, I as soon as I hit town, right? As soon as I got to Bellevue, I was like, what are we gonna build? I have no idea what to build. We have a ton of businesses on East Main that we have to finish, um, but I didn't really want to focus on businesses. I kind of wanted to focus more on, you know, a home. So I found um, three massive apartment complexes and guys, these things look absolutely insane. This is going to be the biggest build that we've done in the series yet. Not only do we drive across the country lads to get this footage in real life to actually visit this place in real life to get proper calculations and measurements but this is also i mean we have a diagonal building that we're going to be building okay i've never built anything at a slant so that's going to be a major challenge and I guess we're just gonna have to find out if we can actually pull it off. Now, one of the biggest things that kind of, I don't know, kind of had me on edge about building this whole thing was, it's a huge project. I mean, they are getting larger, the builds are getting bigger. So this is way bigger than the church that we just did in the last episode. So on top of that, right, we have, I have to landscape this entire thing because we are trying our best to get the landscaping down like the the slight incline that the apartments actually sit on in real life we're going to be trying to get that literally every detail guys because i'm not kidding i when i say replicate we literally go all in you guys know this i state it in every single episode and i will continue to do so okay now, on top of all of those things, we have the final thing, which was I've never built a building that is actually slanted or I guess just kind of like at an angle. So this is going to be a whole new ballpark for me. This is going to be quite the challenge because slanting it correctly for one and then also trying to make it actually look good is going to be another issue. But I have faith. So we're gonna have to wait and see if we can actually, you know, come through with this. So obviously I decided to start off a little bit easy. You know, we're gonna be doing the fence along the other road here, like the chain length fence. 
we're going to be filling that in really fast just kind of knock that out um, the light pole um, the tree etc kind of get the road laid out and also formed you know for the parking lot of these apartment complexes because that's exactly um, going to tell me how much room I actually have to work with here So I had to hop into the Axiom mod because, like I said earlier, these apartments are sitting on a slight inclination. So we had to go through, obviously, and, you know, add these in, um, adjust the terrain, terraform, etc. Because if I threw these up on just like a flat surface, they would not look good. They just would not look good. So adding these hills adds to the realism, the replication, and it just makes them look more natural. Now, in terms of building the actual, you know, apartment that is at a severe angle, to say the least, um, I ran the calculations and I, I, I honestly think I nailed it right on the dot, dude, because this building, if I'm not mistaken, is at a 65 degree angle. 100%, I'm not lying. This has to be correct because just wait, just wait, just wait, I promise. And yes, indeed, before you ask, I did actually use Minecraft to make the uh, calculations on the degrees of this slant for this building. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw up the sauce on screen. If you are a builder, you're gonna wanna screenshot this because of this diagram or this like, this, I, this thing here, this, reference sheet i guess to say the least is very helpful so definitely you know nab that if you guys uh you know make builds yourself
Okay, so the first building, the one that is at a slant, is seeing some very substantial progress, and this thing is looking actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very shocked with how well I am doing on this right now. So we have pretty much two sides done. You know, we have the back side, and then we have the right side or the left side, depending on how you look at the building. We have two more sides to do with the, uh, you know, windows and detailing. And I know the other side also has a door, like an entrance to go into the building. So we do need to make sure we add that as well. Um, outside of that, we need to add the ventilation to the rooftop. And then we're going to be finishing off the parking lot to the left, adding some vehicles, some parking lot details, and things like that. Now, I did end up going through and actually changing out the window designs here on the slanted, you know, the building that we're building here currently, the one at the angle. So I went through and changed the windows out because I noticed that the windows and like the frames for the windows, there's like a very wide center part with two thin like glass panes on the sides, right? So I wanted to make sure that I got that down appropriately. And I think the new design that we have works just perfectly. Just going to be going through filling out the parking lot, adding some cars, and so on and so forth. You know, we got to make this thing look full of vehicles. You know, we got to we got to add to the realism here. So we're going to be going through adding all these extra details for this side of the parking lot.
dude, like, I'm not even kidding you. Here's the bench that we literally walked by IRL. This is the bench right here. We were standing right here, lads. We were here on, on literally ground site at this place. There's the bench. We got that added in. I'm not going to lie. This build is actually turning out pretty nice. The first apartment is looking pretty nice. Now, earlier on during the build of this one here i did have to leave out a slight detail and that was if we look at the building there are these two walls that kind of stick out here on the tail end of the building or i guess the front of the building depends on how you want to look at it, it could be the back um but these walls kind of come out on both sides and they don't really come out much maybe like two three blocks you know if i had to say however um because the building is at an angle on minecraft it just wouldn't work. Um, we tried adding them in, right? So I, we, I like I have a team of builders here. Come on, we all know I'm just a one man army here. So we have the wall on the right side that looks good. However, the wall on the left side just wasn't adding up. So we did have to skip out on that crucial detail, but that's fine because it still turned out perfect. All right, so we have the angled apartment finished and this thing looks absolutely stunning. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of cooked on this one, guys. This turned out way better than I expected. Dude, <laughs> at this rate, I'm pretty confident that I can build a lot in this town. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked, man. I'm pretty stoked. This looks great, honestly. Obviously, you know, we have the side of the windows where it's kind of just like a hole. Obviously, we can't do anything with that just because of the limitations, uh, you know, within Minecraft. So it's going to have to, you know, remain like that. But that's fine. Um, it's not really that serious. If you build anything at an angle, it is going to look less realistic. But I tried my absolute best to make this one look as realistic as possible. And I think I killed it. Let me know what you guys think. So one thing that I did notice with moving on to the second building here, this kind of tan one, it is completely different in current day time. So like right now, it is way different than what we are actually seeing on Google Earth. There's actually a lot of things that are different uh, compared to Google Earth and, you know, actual present day. Um, for example, you know, this place doesn't have the pool anymore. There's no pool house. There's no pool. There's not like this little house that sits or a shed thing that sits at the edge of the parking lot anymore. That's gone. Um, this building that is tan and like with orange like stripes looks a little bit more modern to me. It it's not like that on Google Earth. It's it's bricks and like siding. So it's all completely different. So we're going to build this with present day current time what we see today if you guys were to go there you know come here today in real life you would be seeing this now i'm not gonna lie i'm actually kind of stoked that we were able to get fully updated uh videography of these builds um you know of this architecture here because the tan approach the tan building with the orange stripe approach is way more like simple for me to build because it's really only two blocks it's just a flat face uh flat building not that bricks would be difficult, but I don't know how I would feel having three brick apartments side by side. I kind of like that I have a lighter brick, a darker brick, and then we have like a tan one, one that's completely different. So I think it kind of helps add to the mixture of, you know, these three buildings here.
I literally just started the second building and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a quick break. We're gonna get the third one just kind of built up and framed out so that way we kind of know exactly what this is going to be looking like and just kind of seeing the overall accuracy of it to see if we've put everything in the correct spots and everything's the correct length and just dimensions, so on and so forth. So yeah, now we're building the third apartment. And to be honest, I think this one is like probably the most detailed out of all three of them. It has a really wacky front, so that's gonna be interesting to build, but I think we can do it. We've come this far, so I think we can do that. If we can't do that, then well, I'm trash. So really quick, we actually went ahead and went back to the tan building and I had to like shrink the building several blocks because I was looking at the real life image of the building and comparing it side by side with what we have in game. And the backside was just looking way too tall. So I was like, you know what? I don't wanna do this, but we're gonna have to bring this thing down several blocks. Didn't really take me that long to fix, but I think this looks way better. Okay, so we're making some pretty fast progress on this tan apartment complex here. Um, we're just going through applying some small details here to the side of the building, the AC units, the trim, and also the um, gutter systems here as well. Also, I'm just gonna say it, maybe I overestimated this entire build. Maybe I overestimated because these were a lot simpler than I originally portrayed because I don't know, I guess I was kind of intimidated by, I mean, these are pretty large buildings, kind of large buildings, I guess medium sized buildings, but I'm building three of them. Not only that, but we did the entire parking lot, the landscaping is all accurate, etc. I think the landscaping honestly took me the longest. And I think that was probably the thing that kind of, I guess like stunted this whole thing a little bit. Once we had that laid out and the parking lot laid out, this was low key kind of a breeze. I'm not even gonna lie, this was kind of a breeze. And I know I, I, I swear I end up saying that at the end of every video, I'm not even kidding. I feel like right now, the biggest, like truest challenge would be like an airport, like a very massive airport. Building an airport would stress me out, dude. But like I said on episode four, there will be a day where we actually will be building an airport.
Okay, so I think for the slanted building here, this is technically the front of the building. And then the, the door that we did originally, so where we started with that with this building, that I'm guessing is the back. So what we are adding now, I guess, is front parking for this building here. And there's this weird like yellow triangle thing that kind of sticks out in the road a little bit to give space for these parking spots. So obviously we went ahead and added that. And I think there's like maybe five or six parking spots IRL, but we had some extra space. So I just went ahead and added like seven or eight. Alrighty lads, we are nearing the final stretch of this big project as we climb to the top of the mountain to place this flag down, you know, to announce victory on this, on this massive project here. We pretty much are just going through and applying the, you know, the, the finer details here to this last brick building, the side AC units, the gutter systems. We have the roof to knock out and the ventilation on top of the roof. And then we also have the front of this complex to do as well. Now, if I'm being honest, this front on this complex is going to be the most, uh, I guess, difficult one that we have done out of the three, simply because it's just very detailed. It's, it's very detailed. So we do need to pray that we can, uh, you know, get this as accurately as possible. I definitely think we can, but... Yes, we will be knocking that out as well, doing the front landscaping and then also doing the road in front of these uh, complexes as well. quickly we're just gonna go ahead and knock out the last parking lot get this all filled in with cars get the uh, the spots filled in and then also get this back section there's no pool here now so I guess we that kind of saves us some work so it's just an open field now so yeah get that done and then we'll be focusing on the front of these buildings so right now we're just adding the front, uh, I guess, entrance here to the left side. This is actually the same entrance that I pulled into when I got the footage, uh, you know, in real life. So we pulled in here through this road. So we're adding that in, terraforming the front yard, adding that slight hill there kind of down the center, uh, the two trees. We already have the tan uh, front done on the other complex. So this is literally like the final touches, guys.
folks we did it again we did it again we replicated something again pretty much 100 percent accurate i mean there might be some slight discrepancies here and there but they're very slight like minuscule okay other than those things i mean guys this is spot on this is literally spot on you cannot tell me otherwise okay i i i'm, I'm i will argue with that all right this is 100 percent spot on maybe like 98 percent spot on but it's really close all right it's really close um yeah i just thought this this has been an absolutely wild episode so hopefully you lads did enjoy this one um we went to the extremes with this episode guys so yes like i said these episodes are going to get better and better and just crazier all around so guys stick around for the next episode it's going to be awesome now i'm thinking for episode six all right so the next one i think we are going to build something but we're also going to do an interior we've been having a lot of people request interiors and i think i kind of want to dabble into the interior field a little bit myself so that's going to be super super cool um i'm not sure what we are going to build we could probably do the interior of what we build in the episode or maybe an interior that is already um you know of a structure that's already built on you know the map please don't say the apartment complexes <laughs>